I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on providing solutions to international test papers. Here is a test paper of 2018. It is Advanced Mathematics, Level 3. We'll take up question 7, which is based on trigonometry. Now here we have two questions. 7a is to solve for x greater than or equal to 0, less than pi by 2. The equation is 4 sine x equals to secant x. Part 2 is to solve for theta between 0 to 360 degrees. The equation is 5 sine theta minus 5 cos theta equals to 2. Giving your answers to one decimal place. Solutions based on entirely on graphical or numerical methods are not acceptable. Now these two are very typical uh, test questions and I'll I hope their solution will help many students. Now, normally you have to answer in this portion, but I'll kind of provide the solution right here. So the first equation here is 4 sin x equals to secant x. Secant could be written as 1 over cosine. So we, we get 4 sin x equals to 1 over cos x. We can cross multiply getting 4 sin x cos x equals to 1. Now you should remember the double angle formula here which is 2 sin x cos x is sin 2 theta, right? So I'll write this as 2 times 2 sin x cos x equals to 1. So I'm taking this 2 here, so I'm writing half here. And 2 sin x cos x is sin 2x. Now, as far as the interval goes, we are given x is between 0 to pi by 2. So 2x is going to be between 0 and pi. Correct? So we need to find this is a positive value. So we are expecting two solutions. Correct? Sin is a positive uh, let's look into this. Now I'm using these colors only to explain you the concepts in the test paper you're going to write in black ink. So sine is positive in these two coordinates, correct? So let's say this angle is alpha. So let's find the angle alpha where sine is half. Now you know the exact values, right? Pi by so let me make the triangle here and then we'll show you the values. So this side is 1, this is 2, this is square root of 3 and we are talking about sine, so this angle which is pi by 6. Sine of pi by 6 is half, correct? So, so this angle is, uh, so we get 2x as equal to pi by 6 which is in quadrant 1 and then pi minus pi by 6, right? Pi minus pi by 6. And that is 5 pi by 6, right? So 5 pi by 6. So these are the two solutions. So from here, you know, x is equal to pi by 12. And that is 5 pi by 12. Since it says giving your answer to one decimal place, right? So you could actually convert this to one decimal place. Well, that is for this one. So there is no restriction for part 1, correct? So we could write this as our answer. So we have our answer here that the value of x is pi by 12 and 5 pi by 12. So that is the exact value, correct? Now let's see how to solve the second one, which is uh, theta is between 0 to 360 degrees. The equation is 5 sine theta minus 5 cos theta equals to 2. Now we could actually write this as uh, the equation is 5 sine theta minus 5 cos theta equals to 2, right? So that is, we can write this in the form of r sine of theta minus alpha equals to 2. Now where r is going to be equal to square of 5 plus square of 5 square root, right? These two, right? So which is square root of 50? 
or you can write this as uh, 25 times 2 which is 5 square root 2. As far as alpha is concerned, alpha is the ratio of sine and cosine values, right? So, so how do we get this? R sine theta minus alpha basically is kind of like this. R times sine theta cos alpha minus R times cos theta sine alpha equals to 2. So when you compare this with the original equation, then R, you know, they are squares basically, right? So you know R cos alpha is basically 5 and R sine alpha is also 5, right? So what we have here is when you just compare them, we have R cos alpha equals to 5 and R of sine alpha is also 5. Their ratio tan alpha will be 5 over 5. So their ratio tan alpha will be 1. So that tells you that alpha is tan inverse of 1 which is 45 degrees. So we get 45 degrees for alpha, right? <clears throat> well, uh, this is the method of doing it. I was trying to do it with a shortcut. So alpha basically is tan inverse of these two ratios, right? 5 over 5, correct? In this case, you know, both are same. That's why I showed you that we are actually dividing that sine alpha by cos alpha, right? So basically that 5 over this 5. So we get alpha as 45 degrees, right? Now, we, we know alpha and we know r, which is five, uh, 5 square root 2. We have this equation. So, from here, 5 sine theta minus 5 cos theta equals 2, we can write this as r sine theta minus alpha equals to 2. And as you just saw, the value of r is 5 square root 2. sine of theta minus 45 degrees is equal to 2, correct? So that becomes your equation, correct? So it is simpler to solve. Now we can say sine theta minus 45 is 2 over 5 square root 2, right? And then we can calculate the value of theta, perfect. We know that in this case, theta is between 0 to 360 degrees. So we can find all the solutions within this interval for this, correct? So let's do it. So now, we'll actually push the page a bit. We'll begin with this equation, which is 5 square root 2 of sine theta minus 45 degrees is equal to 2. So I'm just bringing it here now. So that tells you that sine theta minus 45 degrees is 2 by... 5 square root 2 or <coughs> square root 2 by 5. Now sine is positive, that means we are looking for two solutions, one in quadrant 1, the other one in quadrant 2, right? So we are looking for these two solutions. So we'll find this value of alpha and then the other value, correct? So we can, we know from here that we can write theta minus 45 degrees as equal to, we'll do sine inverse of square root 2 over 5, right? Shift sine inverse of square root 2 divided by 5. So that gives you 16.4299 and the other value will be 180 minus this, right? Since the other angle is that one, correct? So these are the two values we're looking for, correct? That is 180 minus alpha, right? So we'll do 180 minus the answer that gives you 163. So the other answer is 163.57. Now, theta is going to be equal to 
we'll add 45 to this, right? So let me add 45 to this. So we get 163.57 plus 45 equals to add 45, we get 208.57, one decimal place. We have to give up to one decimal place, so I will round it to 6 degrees, correct? And here we'll get 16.4 uh, plus 45 equals to, in decimals, 61.4 degrees, correct? So those are the two answers which we get for the given question. So I hope the steps are clear. So it's kind of straightforward. Once you get this, you find the value. We just write this in the form of R sine theta minus alpha equals to 2, where R is equal to square root of 5 square plus 5 square, and alpha is tan inverse of 5 over 5. Correct? So you get both the values, you get your equation, then solve it. Is that clear? So that is how we are going to solve this particular equation. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. I'll provide you with links on wave equation, which is exactly the same thing, for you to practice. In case you have any questions, feel free to write on the email address given here. Thanks for your time and all the best.